Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Loki, and I'm here with Mimi Force members Jace. Hello. And Camus Soldier 76. Hola. And today's video is going to be very different. Today, I'm just going to have them judge the wallpaper that exists in Dokkan. So let's start with what I think is actually the best wallpaper in the entire game. So just to give some heads up, these two do not play Dokkan at all. Like, a net zero worth of Dokkan. You, you guys have only seen me play Dokkan for, what, <laughs> five years now? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're familiar with uh, DBZ. And yeah, of Bobby, course. All of most of Dragon Ball, actually. Yeah. Um, so the game has wallpapers now. Uh, this is the newest one they had for the celebration of the final arc, the Boo arc. Um, as you can see here, this is also the only one that is animated, and it has a Majin Boo that just shows up in the background. Wait for it. Yeah, he's back. <laughs> He just floats gently at the back screen. Um, how are you guys liking this one? Like, we'll do this out of grade out of a five. You what can see also here. What's going on with Goku's hand? Goku's hands? I don't know. This is oh, actually. It looks like he has two thumbs. Yeah, the, his finger placement, or maybe the angle, is just so awkward that it is looks really weird. Yeah. Then you also have to. <laughs> you, it's also weird because Krillin's underneath him, and he's given a very like Home Alone like face. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's normal for Krillin. It's normal for Krillin? I just feel like that would be more appropriate if it was Goten, his actual son, as opposed to his 40-year-old friend <laughs> below his legs. Hey, question. If this is the Majin Buu arc, did, did Krillin have hair back already? Yeah, he did. Uh, this he is did? the Yeah, he, he stopped shaving his head. Because you can also see 18 here. What you don't see is the product of Krillin's semen, which is Marin. Uh, their daughter, which is <laughs> not in the photo here. <laughs> she didn't make the cut. Oh, that's right. There she. There's 18 in the background. Yeah, she's th another one. Just feels like kind of off put <laughs> somewhere in the back. Um, of course, we got Hercule here, the champ, everyone's favorite. Uh, and Trix is just here existing. But oops, I hit loading. But how are you right, liking so this one? What's what's the what's the rating scale? It's out. It's out of five. We'll give it out of, out five. of five. It's easier okay. when it's out of five. I feel like five. it'd be more appropriate to be out of seven because you know seven. seven you know what? Balls. You're you're right. It's now out of seven. <laughs> <laughs> You've changed my mind. Look at okay. him. <laughs> so, <laughs> he's just so pumped to be here. Captain, uh, you want to go first? All right. So, uh, um, all right, I, I think I'm gonna just give out a, a number then explain my reasoning. Uh -huh. All right. So. I will give this one a five, yeah. and it's missing missing points on the finger. The finger placement is up very, very fucking odd. It looks like he has two thumbs or just six fingers. He and, does. Yeah, and and I guess it's also missing a point because, as you mentioned, uh, Krillin's seed is nowhere in the picture. <laughs> minus but, one for the seed. Minus Fair. one for the seed, but five points. Just for Boo floating up there, he's all happy, and he's smiling and waving, and his good old buddy Hercule is also, also throwing it up. Yeah, five stars out of seven. I, you know what? Fair rating. What, what are you feeling here, Jace? I'm gonna give it a seven. Ooh. No, Ooh. a six. <laughs> A six. A six? Let's go with a six. The hands are really what fucking uh, fucking this up, isn't it? Yeah, it's the hand, and it's like, um... Take a look inside of the, uh, the text for Dragon Ball. There's a green background that I feel like was forgotten to be removed. Uh, it might actually go... I wish there was a way for me to fully enter the, the wallpaper. Actually, let me yeah. see if I can go here and look at it. There we go. Oh, ah, it's on this a might stand. be a better way to look at it. It's on a stand. Okay. Um, that changes actually, everything. I like. Yeah, that changes. That, that changes a bit. I like it a little bit more. Uh, six point five. Six point right. five. <laughs> six point five ball. Everyone's favorite. And uh, yes. I don't think I need to hide the fact that this is a this is a seven one for me. That Majin Buu is just too good. I'm one of the very few Dragon Ball people who will tell you they like Fat Buu to your face. But I love Fat Buu. Look at me. <laughs> so happy Wait, in the background. Who doesn't fucking love Fat Boo? A lot of people. I've a really? lot of people. Yeah, there's Fuck been like, them. Fat Boo is best Boo. What? They, the yeah. hell? 
Well, there's people in general who just don't like Majin Buu. <laughs> who don't like the Boo arc, and those people are, uh, you know, they can have their own opinion, but I disagree. All right, let's go on to the next one. Uh, okay, this one right here. This is the other one that was celebrating the Majin Buu arc. This one, unfortunately, the, none of the other ones I think are animated. This is just Super Saiyan 3 Goku fighting Kid Buu. Um, I don't oh, know what fun. Kid Buu's doing in this piece. <laughs> I don't it's a weird way of attacking because it looks like he's just got to do with uh, jazz hands up in the air, but he's countering none Goku. Of whatever. Other, none of the other ones are animated? Yeah, none of the other ones are animated. Uh, At least I don't wait, think so. It's, down, it's only downhill from here. Yeah, I started with the showstopper. I wasn't paying attention. Was the other one the of, like, you know, when you, like, zoomed in? Was Boo, is Boo, like, going in the back on it? Oh, yeah. All right, right you know what? I'll, I, I, I rescind my ori original five. I'll give it. I'll give it a six because it's animated. All right, that's awesome. Great to hear. But now let's go back to this one, which unfortunately has the un has to try and up this one. Um, this is also kind of one of those ones where I don't really feel. I don't have a particular emotion about Super Saiyan Three Goku versus Kid Buu. I'm really more for it when Kid Buu's beating the shit out of Vegeta and Goku's in the back room charging the spirit bomb. <laughs> How do There's you feel? There's sometimes when the Dragon Ball characters are over-rendered. Mm -hmm. And I think this is one of those. So I'm going to give this one three stars. Three stars. Three stars. All right. Captain, how you feel? Oh. Damn, I, I, I feel like I feel like this, this particular art style appears, appeals to me more than previous one. But it's also not animated. And... Yeah. I, I like that, uh, I don't know, this is like one of my, my favorite, I wouldn't say it's my favorite arcs, but it was like one of my favorite transformations as a kid. Mm. Oh yeah, that's uh, a good transformation. Yeah, it's it's funny that like, uh, whenever, they, they don't have Super Saiyan 3 show up a lot because it costs a fortune to fucking animate. Yeah. But, uh, I, I would give it a five. The, the Dokkan also had a animation of there's a Goku, a Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku that turns into Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. And it's probably one of the best action because they actually do the full animation of him going Super Saiyan 3. And it's probably one of the better transformation uh, things into Super Saiyan 3. It's a uh, it's I use him specifically because he uh, that transformation where he turns into Super Saiyan 3 is just so good. But it's a shame that you can't really show it in here. <laughs> um, so what was your rating for this one? Uh, I gave it a five. Five. All right. I think I'm gonna meet somewhere in the middle where I'm kind of gonna go for. Uh, I I like this arc, but at the same time, I'm not feeling. I feel like they could have done a more dynamic fight pose between the two, because right now it just looks really weird. I don't 100 percent understand what Goku. It looks like Goku's getting ready to punch Kid Buu straight in the dick. Because that seems like to be the only way he's going to do the punch. Like, if you look at his arm right here at the, um, right here, it looks like he's going to aim <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah, I can see yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, that would be amazing if this. So, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to meet in the middle. I'm going to say four. All right. This one, this one, uh, this one, I just... <laughs> This one was also the start of the boo. We had a lot of boo arc uh, wallpapers here, and this one is of uh, Super Vegito, Ultimate Gohan, and Super Saiyan Three Gotenks, and with what oh, looks like they're me. in a volcano background. <laughs> this one has maybe the, one of the most unimaginative backgrounds. Yeah, it's very, very red and just lightning. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, nothing. It, it's not. It's no. not a goddamn thing. This is it, a stock background that they just put some effect on. And put the effect around the characters, where they're supposed to be standing on the fucking ground. They're standing in nothing. <laughs> do, you, do you remember the episode of South Park where they talk about making a Christian rock album and how you have to post characters in a certain way? Yes, this is Faith Plus One. This is basically Faith Plus One the way it's looking at right now. Um, and for that, I will give this one a one. Uh, I think that's fair. How do you feel, Captain? I I don't feel like I should be that mean. I'll, I'll give it a three. Hmm. I feel like I also want to give go mean, just because I think the others have just so much more put into them that I feel like Super Vegito, Ultimate Gohan, and Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks deserve a little bit better in terms of at least having a background to be on. Um, Let me so tell I'm you how go... I'm voting here. 
I'm uh -huh. voting in the sense that like if if the developers came to me and they had kinds of wallpaper in front of me I would only vote kind for the ones I'm like oh yeah no I could I could go for more of these wallpapers please more of these thank you mm. yeah, where I'm like I, this one I'm like I don't want to see this shit again <laughs> yeah yeah I, I you know that's fair I, I'm also gonna go <laughs> one I, I actually like two of the three characters on here oh no I mm. love the characters I love the characters that does, yeah. that's it's just how they're presented for me. Yeah, the presentation could be better. I think that's I think that's a fair thing to say here, even if you do like the characters and the art that they're doing. Because I don't think the character art is bad. I think the character art is perfectly fine. The problem is, is that they're not really existing in anything. <laughs> they're just kind of uh, around. Like they could even do. They could have even done like a the, like a rock background because most of these dudes fought in the Rocky Mountains against Boo uh, various times, but. They just felt like no red lightning, so I, you know, I'm also gonna go one. So that's a one from for two of us and a three from uh, Captain. Let's go to the next one. All right, <laughs> this is kind of like the Kid Buu versus Super Saiyan Three Goku, except for it's Fuse Zamasu and Vegito Blue, and it looks like Fuse Zamasu is fucking big in this picture. I never realized how huge he is when he's like all weirdly corrupted. Um, you guys have seen Super, right? I have, but I kind of skipped ahead. I, I started really following it during the tournament, like the last tournament arc. Mm, the, during the tournament of power. Yeah. Uh, how about you, Jace? Um, I actually haven't watched this arc yet, but uh, I will say that I do enjoy this one better. I mean, this artwork better than the other uh, Majin Buu art. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this one is more dynamic in the actual facing down, where these actually look like they're punching each other straight in the face. Right, right. And then I also do like the uh, destroyed city below, which is like probably a background from the actual anime. Yeah, yeah, because they're fighting in a in a destroyed Trunks' future city. Uh, I also like the lightning here, where it's Vegito's uh, Vegito Blue's lightning right here, and on the top it is uh, Zamasu's. I think that's a good, like, it's a lot of, like, contrast to fighting each other, which is, like, not, not something that had in the uh, the other It's, like, two opposing colors actually fighting each other with their auras, which is always really cool in anything. Even, not even Dragon Ball, in anything, if you have two people fighting each other and they're gonna punch each other. Like, I'm someone who, in movies, when the two characters are too far away from each other and they both run at each other, I'm like, hell yeah! I get tired <laughs> Of seeing two dudes just f fucking up all rhyme or reason and just running towards each other to punch each other in the face. I'm all down that, for that. That's basically fucking uh, the Brawley movie. That's what yeah. I liked about it. It was just <laughs> no balls bar ass <laughs> beatery. <laughs> that's, the, that's the entire film. <laughs> I still need to see it. I have not seen it. Uh, and funny enough, I have seen a whole bunch of those animations just because of my side of Twitter. Everyone nonstop posted them before the movie even came out. So I feel like I've seen parts of that movie enough to have a decent understanding of what happens in it. But uh, So how are you feeling on this one? Star uh, rating. I will give this one a four. Hmm. How are you feeling, Captain? Uh, I will give it a... Uh, I will give it a five. There's a lot more effort put into this one than the previous one. Yeah, I th I'm gonna I'm gonna lean towards I think five as well because yeah this one this one is a very very nice one. It actually does justice to the them two fighting each other because again I'm someone who kind of I I have not seen all of Super. I've seen mainly anytime someone was like a big fight is coming, I would be like, all right, time to go onto whatever weird Japanese website to watch it in real time because I don't have time for Crunchyroll <laughs> to update whatever they got. Um, and I would watch it with everyone, so I have a lot of fond feelings for specifically um, UI Goku versus Kefla, if or the Super Saiyan Blue Vegito versus Merge Zamasu, and anything where the big Jiren fights happen. Uh, so I feel like this does this scene perfectly well. So yeah, five. All right. See, some of the wallpapers. It, it would be way better if it was animated, though. A lot of these would be better if it was just some animation in there. Yeah, I mean, even if the lightning just moved around and the smoke moved, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, this oh, one. Speaking aura. of the previous one. Speaking of two dudes running towards each other to fuck each other up. Uh, this is, he probably is doing the same kid boo move, except for now it's clear that Gogeta's just gonna sock him right in the fucking face. Yeah, he's gonna hit him in the fucking jaw. I will also give this one a four. Yeah, it's very similar to the last one, except for now you got green versus blue. And Broly's ter- terrifying muscle structure. <laughs> Hey, there are people in real life that exists with, with uh, those proportions. That it's, look like uh, Broly? With, with not look like him, but with those proportions. Like, if you've watched some bodybuilders, they do have those proportions, and it's, it's quite terrifying. Not with like, those if fucking you look hands, at it, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, definitely not with those hands. But, like, if you look <laughs> at it, if you look at just, like, a, a wide-angle shot of them, like, posing and shit, you'll be like, holy fuck, their deltoids are as big as their fucking pecs. That's ridiculous. Like, you could divide them in half into four quadrants, and their upper body will be deltoid, pec, pec, deltoid. It's fucking nuts. And then they have, like, fucking thunder thighs, dog. They won't have much of a gap, but their they're thighs, they, they can crush melons for sure. Hmm. And with that, I'm gonna give this one a four. I think this one's perfectly good. Perfectly good. <laughs> I, I'll give it a five. I really like this movie, and I really like uh, Blue Gogeta. It was my favorite part of that movie. I, I just really like that movie. I think I've said this before on your channel too. Yeah, I think so. It's a, uh, it's a very apparently it's a very. I need to stop screwing around and actually watch it. <laughs> uh, what did you rating for this wallpaper though? Five. All right, five. That's perfectly fine. Respectable. Oh man. Oh uh, no. <laughs> yeah. So there's a growing subset of people who say that the Super Saiyan 4 designs are actually okay on Goku, and I'm here to tell you I don't like the look of both of these at all. <laughs> I never have a never with uh, uh, seven. <laughs> Fuck you. I hate you so much. Seven. Uh, you wanna give your reason why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me? That's fine. I got this. I got this. Go ahead. Tell me what, look, how much you love. Look, look at the magical swirling of power that's going around from top to bottom in a clockwise motion. You can feel that swirl going around. It's sparkling on the sides, at the bottom. And then you got not only our two main characters here dead center, but also in spirit in the back. They're giving you that <laughs> fucking good energy. Seven. <laughs> Do you, what about the fact that you can't even see their eyes because their fucking auras are right over them? It's fine. You still know it's them. I'm just going to say right now, I don't understand how uh, Vegeta transforms and gets gloves. He gets purple Vegeta <laughs> purple Undertaker gloves when he transforms and some rocker pants. This is a fucking one for me. What do you got, Captain? I, I'm going to give this one a four. Um, I, I've never seen like Maybe I'm just remembering it wrong, but I, I don't remember ever seeing like any pic- picture of uh, Vegeta where he straight up just skipped leg day. He has some chicken legs in this picture. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> you know what? Now that you that I look at him, yeah, he does. He also kind of has some weird pants, by the way. I don't, I don't appreciate this style of pants. It kind of looks like weird bloopers where I don't know 100% know where they're, his crotch begins. They're high-waisted pants. Well, I mean, I guess they're the same waist as fucking Goku's pants. No, you Except can tell clearly where Goku's penis like that, is. Like... It's, it's right here. <laughs> right here, bro. <laughs> Vegeta, I'm like, I don't know, maybe it's somewhere around here. Here-ish. Maybe kind of down low here. Don't know. Goku, clear. Right here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> you gonna say, Captain? You're gonna give more of your reasons? No, uh, no, that's just it. I just don't like the fucking red. But that All might right. be because my favorite color is blue. But just like the fucking Fair. chicken legs. Fucking chicken legs are killing me. No, hey, are right. their legs hairy too? I think Probably. so. Probably. Really hairy. Alright, let's go to the next one. Uh, this is the Christmas Day one, which was my oh, wallpaper wow. for a very long time. It's animated. Look, it's animated. It, it is Why? animated. My bad. I forgot that this one was animated. I had it for so long that I just didn't see the animation. This was given out for Christmas. This is uh, uh, Goku Santa with his son 
giving fucking presents on a Christmas Nimbus with Chi Chi in the background. This is the happiest Chi Chi's ever been in her entire marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a seven. I dig the energy. I, I also, the I'm also gonna give it a seven. I real. The only thing this is missing is Maj. If I had a Christmas Majin Buu in the background, I would never have to have another wallpaper ever. In a sleigh instead of a spaceship. Yes. I'll do it this year, Dokon. Uh, how you feeling here, Jace? I am going to... Oh, the fucking wallpaper's I'm... Dragon Balls! I didn't even <laughs> notice that! I'm gonna give this one... Not only a seven of Earth's Dragon Balls, but another seven of the Nanak Dragon Balls! This is a 14, motherfuckers! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Damn. Broken the Damn. scale, but I respect it. This one definitely deserves it. This one's really good. I really do wish they had more wallpapers like this where it was fun. I hate that the, 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 in Japan, um, Halloween isn't as big a holiday as it is here, because I would love a Halloween-themed um, wallpaper for Dokkan, where it's like characters dressed up in costumes of some kind. I mean, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Hopefully. Someday soon. And I think there's one other one. Yeah, here's another one. This one was given for, I think, the... Um, when it was Super Saiyan 2 Gohan and Perfect Cell Banner. Just kind of a little thing about with Super Saiyan Gohan before you go Super Saiyan 2, showing the many years of Gohan. You got Chubby Cheeks Kid Gohan up here. You got I've Been Trained by a Green Man Gohan. And you got Saiyan Armor Gohan with the weird cut, the weird bowl haircut for some reason. Um, and then finally here, Gohan, meaning business. Chad I, Han. Chad Han. For a lot of people, the peak of Gohan. <laughs> uh how you feeling i feel like um, this one specifically kind of ties into how much you care about gohan <laughs> um i don't know his character arc as a whole has been pretty disappointing up uh, after this i mean like if you discount everything after this then yeah it's fucking great but because you have to include everything after this then it kind of just goes <laughs> I'm also including future Gohan here, who was not smart enough to beat two androids. <laughs> oh, you're talking uh, about one arm Gohan? Yeah, I'm talking about one arm Gohan, who uh, is maybe the most, the only Gohan whose only existence is that he has to lose so Trunks can go to the to go to the past. That's his one character trait: is that he loses. I will make the argument that this wallpaper does not represent those Gohans but only represents Gohan up until the Cell Saga at this point. Meaning this is still the people's champion Gohan. <laughs> yeah, this is the, the Gohan boy with un, the, the boy with unlimited potential. The same who would be. He was going to be the greatest, and then they fucked him up. <laughs> yeah. And this is kind of like uh, where you thought Harry Potter would end up, and then the, 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 the time skip Gohan is where Harry Potter is now, where he's just like a 30-year-old wizard who's just kind of like, I'm a cop now, I guess. Uh, I, I, I like this background. I like elements of this background. Mm. I think they only did one thing to fuck this one up. And it is whatever this fucking smoky marble texture that they put on top of it. He looks like he's on the chalk. Like, yeah, if that was like a flat color, let's see, what goes with blue, green, and orange? I don't know, maybe a yellow? Like, if he was against a yellow, that would look, like, with no texture, that would look fantastic. Like, if they just went like a simple, simple color, it would have been very good design. But because they did, they kind of fucked it up. So uh, I'm going to go with a four. All right. H how you feeling here, Captain? Uh, I, was, I was also going to go with a four. Uh, I feel like we've already gone over the reasons why. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Mainly, mainly because of uh, future Gohan. If I was going <laughs> specifically off of just art, uh, it, it, I think I would still go with a four. Yeah, I, I think a four is perfectly respectful. I do like the the color choices for the different teams of Gohan. Of like these specific color choices to go with them actually matches pretty well for me. Um, again, I do like seeing Chubby Cheeks Gohan back when he was pure and before <laughs> before his life fucked him over. Um, so yeah, I think a four is perfectly fine. The the background stuff where he looks like he's on a chalkboard, not not so great. 
And I think this one might be the last one, I think. Here it is. It's <laughs> Cell when he invades the movie stu- the no, not the movie, the, the new studio and broadcasts the Cell games. So here you have what looks like Cell with a bunch of floating tablets. <laughs> it looks like he tried to be in like a Persona game but failed at it. <laughs> <laughs> Arizona. He does I kinda found like the Midnight Channel. <laughs> Come <laughs> fight me in the Midnight Channel or else I'll destroy Earth. <laughs> and also, don't forget to shop at your local Junez. <laughs> Every day is great. Going on, I will say. Use the offer code PERFECT for 20% <laughs> off. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's here. Perfect. Your boy, Perfect Cell, here for another Among Us session. He has some cameras pointed to himself. <laughs> oh, the, you know, this alternate world where Cell is a weird YouTuber is kind of more down for it than what it is, actually, which is just announcing the Cell games. I'm gonna give it a six. Oh. For each for each screen on the on the art, <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the first time where I'm gonna give a, a ranking lower than yours. Ooh, what are you feeling? And and it's pretty bad too. <gasps> uh, it's, I, I I would give it a one. Whoa! Uh, it's, it's, damn! Yeah! 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 All right. Let me let me go over my reasons. All right, go ahead. One, one. It's not very dynamic. I would say. Uh, when you're looking at something from head on, it's not very interesting to look at. Two, that gap, I've already said it, but damn. What the fuck? And, and three, <laughs> I, I don't know, he looks he looks kind of pale. He, the, the cell I know was a little, a little more green than that. You know what, now that you mention it, yeah, his green is looking a little sickly on here. But maybe it's the camera. Maybe he's been up all night streaming, so now he doesn't, <laughs> his color is a little bit lost on him. <laughs> He's washed out by the studio light. Oh, that might be uh, a little bit. You're right. Also, what's his tail? I know he can retract it, but still, what the hell? Yeah, it would be way more... Well, actually, I don't know. With this pose, I don't like the idea of something going down here. <laughs> to look like... <laughs> uh, he was just in the pool. Don't mind him. I'm a, gr- <laughs> I'm a grower, not a shower, says Perfect Cell. <laughs> Uh, I think I'm gonna give this one, I think, a five. I do wish the- I think there could be way more dynamite posing you could do for Cell. I feel like Cell is sim- is probably the most wrestler-like in terms of villains, where he has way more, like, flop- floppishness to him when he's, like, declaring, he's like, Hello, everyone out there in TV land. <laughs> Tell you a little bit something <laughs> about the Cell games. So kind of going with this pose is a little bit, um... Could have been a little bit better, but hey, you I know still... what? You're right. That that's a good like thing I wanted to draw. Now I'm gonna do content creator cell because he is a fucking attention whore. Now that now that you mention it, compared to the other villains, except for maybe Frieza, he is a pretty big attention whore. Yeah. If any of them were to be a content creator, I think it would be Cell. Cell is the only one that would be a content creator. He's he straight up just goes to the studio and says like, "All right, I'm gonna make a Cell games." Because he does. It's not enough that he just destroys Earth. He needs to declare to everyone, "I want to destroy the Earth." And none of you are going to be able to stop me. Um, so yeah, that's. I think this is the last one, but let me see. No, this one might be the... Whoa, what the hell? Okay, no, this one is actually the last one. Um, I don't remember what the fuck this thing was for. <laughs> Being honest, and now looking at it, uh, I remember why I forgot it. Because I had a problem with one Super, Super Saiyan Vegeta's face here. And Goku's face... <laughs> which are for some reason just off as hell to me. Like everyone else's face looks perfectly fine, but Goku's is too small, and Vegeta looks like he's being infused with the hair. <laughs> he looks like an action figure of Vegeta and not actually Vegeta. So the issue oh. that's going on with Goku's face here is that they wanted to draw him with his head, like his head is slightly upward and back because he's supposed to be yelling, but the. F- the head placement is not that is like with the chin and everything mm-hmm. it, it doesn't look like it's arched but they drew his face as if it is arched and that gives it this really fucking weird look he yeah, needs more chin a little bit it's really weird it's 
that's enough for those two to kind of make me not really like this one a whole bunch. And probably the one I like least of all of these. Not including the Super Saiyan 4s for obvious reasons. But I think the background's nice at least. They actually did yeah. the rock background. Kind of I like they... the background and the sky and all that. Yeah, I that's do very like nice. the characters present. Uh, yeah. I just wouldn't bunch them up like that. Like maybe Goku could go either a little higher or lower, and go uh, Vegeta and Gohan should go a little further higher up. You know, just so they're not. They look like they're really like kicking each other with their legs. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look like that. <laughs> <laughs> fighting themselves for this tiny ass corner you can actually see their legs like weirdly interacting down here because you can yeah. see gohan's legs then you can see what actually makes it look like goku's forming a fourth legs behind him because they all wear they're all wearing the same color of outfit with oh, the same his, shoes that's his dicks that's his dick right there he has a little booty for it as well uh, <laughs> that's respectful <laughs> See, again, I can tell exactly where his dick is. It's right here. It just goes all the way down. <laughs> he just wraps it around his leg. Exactly. I've come back to Earth for one day. <laughs> Bring me my wife. And I'm going to the World Tournament. See you later. Uh, this one, I'll start with this one. This one, I think, is a two for me. I, I really like the background, but these two faces are just enough to make me go, oh, no. I want to see this one. How do you guys feel? I'll give it uh, a. Go ahead. I, I'll give it a, a four. Uh, when you first brought the picture up, uh, it it was kind of weird. It, the I feel like their the lighting, specifically on Goku and Vegeta, don't match the the setting they're in. Like, yeah, it's it's yeah. very like harsh light, or like very. There's like a huge contrast. It's like one of those things where like you're in a dark room and you shine a flashlight on your face. That's kind of like thing that's throwing me off. Uh, but more so than that, the when you first brought it up, it almost looked like it was like a, a 3D render just. Oh, put on top of know, it. On top of it, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I can see why it could kind of look like that. Um, Jace, how you feel? Um, I think <laughs> anticipation. I, it's tough because I do really like the background, but the lighting thing is weird. Um, Goku almost looks like he was drawn like symmetrically, like they flipped. They flipped like the line art exactly down the center yeah which is yeah. really really off-putting but they obviously didn't do that it's just it's too too symmetrically perfect and then the lighting is obviously not for the scene so i'm gonna give it a two yeah here's another thing i want to mention as well there's a weird shadow dick down here no that's the shadow from the from are you the, sure is that a plateau from the plateau are you sure the snow plateau is built this way it's, it's Feels... just Goku's take. <laughs> the, the, the shadow of it is long. All right. And with that one, I think that's legit the last one. So we'll end it here. Thank you guys very much for going with me to talk some art stuff about these wallpapers. Uh, definitely there are some pretty good ones, and there's some that are just clearly bad. Like the ones that have just tiny animations, it's just kind of unfair to compare them to the others. Um, but you know. I like that they do, they've they done this, because before this, the background was just this. And it was like that for four years. Just watching this thing in the background. Wait, so the Christmas background won, right? Was that everyone's favorite? I think that that ended up being everyone's favorite for this one. Yeah. I think by the, yeah. by the nature that it got 14 stars, it has to be the favorite of everyone's. <laughs> Uh, so we'll end it here on, on this beautiful Christmas one. And I thank you everyone for joining us. Thanks to everyone who actually watched all this to the end. You guys are the true real ones. Tell us about how you feel about your wallpaper. Slap that like button. Especially if you made it this long in to talk about wallpaper. I think you deserve to give us a like for that. I think for all the enjoyment we've given you. 
Wait, give us a like or give them a like? Give me a like. Well, technically speaking, I'm talking the royal we, as in me. So, Listen, <laughs> whatever benefits... If you, if you comment below, he'll like your comment. Yeah, there you go. But we'll you have to you specifically like. say, um, I made it to the end, where's my like? And I'll give you that like. I'll give it a heart, so you have like a little whooper heart next to your comment. I promise you. So, say goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.